Currently, we are at uh, T07, topic number seven, tree based classification. Uh, the name of uh, this algorithm is decision tree. Okay, decision tree is a supervised learning because we know the answer. Okay, as in the first place, we have X features, we have Y target. Okay, uh, this method used for classification and regression, as we mentioned. Uh, usually, SVM and the logistic regression is used for classification, and the linear regression is used for regression, which is numeric target. But here, uh, decision tree is uh, can be used for can be used for classification and regression. Okay, the goal is to create a method that predicts the value of target by learning simple decision rules inferred from the data point. Which means not learn a line to fit the data, not to learn a surface to separate data. Here, we learn some simple decision rules. The decision rules means a rule, okay? The answer is yes or no. Okay, depends on your answers. Then we ask next question and so on and so forth. And finally, we can get the classification result or the regression result. 啊，我们就是生成一些很简单的规则。那那些规则都是越说简单，意思就是拿单词 yes 跟 no 的。好，那单词 yes 跟 no， 你可以问第一个问题 yes no。啊、呃，针对这个资料点问第二个问题 yes no。针对这个资料点问第三个问题 yes no。所以当某个测试的资料点进来之后，你就一直问那些问题。那问到最后一个问题的时候，他会跟你讲 classification 的结果。或者是 regression 的结果，好，这个中文跟刚上面讲的东西一样哈。好 ，so here's an example. Uh, I think that would be much better to take a look at the, the second example, which is more clearly. Okay, that is a very well known uh, analysis data, which is called Titanic. Titanic is the boat, right? So you can uh, download the data from my Google Drive. So the data looks like this. I have several passengers, and each one has passenger ID. The target is the column named survived. It is either zero or one, which means uh, the passenger is survived or not. It is not survived. Uh, he or she is not survived. 就是铁达尼号的那个资料嘛，啊，每一行是一个旅客的资料。通常来说，我们用这个的时候，用那个 survive 那个栏位当做 target。然后它是一个 classification 的问题，就这个乘客到底是存活还是死在那个海难上面的。Of course, there are several different features at the right hand side. For example, P class means the class of its cabin. 就是嗯， um, 后面还有很多其他的 feature 嘛，像 P class 就是它是做什么一等舱、二等舱、三等舱这种东西。Okay, and uh, his or her name. Sex, gender, okay, male, female, age, uh, which is a numeric, numeric data, okay. 那右侧还有很多其他 There are some some other else. For example, uh, the cabin number, uh, fare, how how much money he or she spent to buy the ticket, uh, ticket number, so on so on so on. And how many families with he, him or her? 就是他有多少？家庭成员一起搭船，这些资料都会在后面很多哈，就会非常很多哈。So basically, it is a classification problem. Okay. However, the features are quite complex. We have numeric data like age. We have、um, ranked data. 啊，呃，你们要知道，就是那个资料有时候虽然是它是有是类别型的，可是它是有顺序的。像我们会认为。头等舱应该比二等舱厉害，二等舱比三等舱厉害，三等舱比四等舱厉害等等之类的。所以有的时候那个虽然是 categorical 的 data， 但它是有排序的啊，所以叫 ranked data。Sometimes the data is ranked even if it is a categorical data. A data with rank can do addition and subtraction. 那个有 rank 的资料啊，我们就基本上我们的认知里面是可以做加跟减的，但是不能做乘跟除哦，对吗？头等舱跟二等舱的差距是一等嘛，头等舱跟三等舱的差距是两等嘛，所以做加减好像还可以
，可是你不能做，你等下就不能做乘法啊，没有乘法这回事哈。但是我们讲那个黑色跟红色，你没有办法用黑色头发减掉红色头发，相等于什么红色减掉绿色头发，没有没有这回事。所以 categorical data 你可以看一下，它有时候是有顺序的，它有顺序还可以做加减，不能做乘除，好，这个要记得。OK， so that is the、uh, the original data、uh, we download from the internet. OK， so basically let's do some feature engineering. This is a very big cell. OK， but I wrote comment on it. For this data set in line three, the first things is that. The feature that tells whether a passenger had a cabin on Titanic. 呃、uh, ，因为在那个铁达尼号上有一些是根本就没有、呃、房间舱等，他们是在最下面的，就没有舱等的那些位置。So in line number five, it means we create a new column called has cabin, and the cabin is either one or zero, which means it has cabin or not. How do we decide、uh, data has cabin or not? It depends on、uh, the other column, which is cabin, right here. Okay, and if it is zero or if it's one, then we、uh, write has cabin. Actually, it means that. Okay, we have a a lot of. Passenger right here, right. So here we have a cabin. Right here, okay. The cabin. It might be something like that. This right here. For example, C eighty five. C eighty five. N thirty one. A two something like that. And some some、uh, passenger they has no cabin. So that means. Not a number, which means it is a new or now data. So the green part, this one, means that means I would like to create an other column, which is a new feature, and it depends on if it. It's a it is it's a combination of、uh, alphabetic words or or a number, and I say yes, it has cabin. Yes, it has cabin. Yes, and so on so forth. Un, until n a n means it's not a number. It it is、uh, it, it is not it is a missing value. So I say no. This passenger has no cabin. So that we can leverage such kind of pre-processing process to help us to. Claim the original data because it originally it is a text data, right? C eighty five and thirty one is a text data, but in our algorithm, most of the time we wish we hope those data are numeric data or at least they are binary data, one or zero. So before you apply your algorithm to those data, you had better take a look at each columns, each features. And try to make sure those data can be processed by your algorithm, which can only be numeric data or binary data. So I do such kind of data transform. So after doing that, okay, I delete this feature. Okay, so it becomes a pure numeric or categorical data. Okay, and so on and so forth. So right here. For the second preprocessing, what I did, I create another new feature called family size. How did I calculate this number? Okay, the family size include how many siblings that travel with you, and if your parents, if any of your parents on the boat, and plus one, which means yourself. So I can create a new feature called family size. By using two other origin original features, which is sibling and、uh, I think that is parent. Parent. Okay. Before you、uh, analyze your data, you may think you may want to、uh, try to create a lot of features by using the original features, which may enrich your data. 
它会让你的 data 更丰富一点啦，好，更丰富一点。What else we have? For example, I can create a data new feature called is along. If, uh, if your family size is one, then that means you travel along, right? 就这些数据，你好像看似都是从旧数据这样加加减减啊、层层出出弄出来的哈。但是，呃，你能够 enrich 你的 data 的话，那你后面的那些 algorithm 或许就能够从你这些加加减减啊，就是做些 feature engineering 的事情，获得更好的对资料的观察了。那比如说切个平面啊，做个 regression 的 line fit， 或许都有可能可以做得更好啊。这不一定，好，但是我们会建议你。能做一些 feature engineering 就尽量做啊。My suggestion is, uh, if you can do feature engineering, to think about this data to try to combine different features to create new features, and、uh, that might be very helpful for the following algorithms models to analyze your data. Uh, for example, I I take a look at their name. If their name has some titles like lady, uh, content, uh. 就是什么 ，Colonel, Caption, Doctor, May, Mayor, some, uh, something like that. Then you can create a new feature. So okay, they, they, they may be from very、uh, decent family or something like that. 就是，你就算看他的名字了，你看就是 Caption 觉得每个名字都不一样啊，那个名字当 feature 就不好嘛，对不对？因为它是纯文字的啊。可是因为以前的人都有冠一些 title 嘛，比如说他是什么什么大公啊。伯爵啊，呃，什么上校啊，对不对？那所以可以生一个新的 feature， 叫做他有没有 title， 或者他是不是贵族，对不对？你可以用这种东西去生一些新的 feature 出来，啊、uh, ，something like that。Okay， so after that， I I have a a a new table which has enriched features。Okay， so here's that， but we 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 simply just uh do a very simple um。Demonstration. So I only select some very simple features, like、uh, what is the cabin class, the sex. Okay, is either either one, the age. Okay, uh, is uh, is one two one two three means it is larger than average or not. Okay, uh, fair is how much money he or she spend, and if she or he has cabin, how many family travel with. He or she is he or she alone?、Uh, is she had or he has title or not? Something like that. It's just a very simple numeric data or categorical data like this. Okay. So before you do、um, analyze, I strongly recommend you draw the correlation between different features. Ah,、uh, 就是很简单，就是你高中学的那个 correlation 就是相关系数嘛。You always can find if certain features are highly correlate with some other features, or you can observe which feature is very has very high correlation with target. 就你可以看 feature 跟 feature 之间有没有一些高相关性的事情。比如说，呃，你的随便假想个例子啊，你船舱的舱等越高，是不是可能表示你越有钱？你越有钱，是不是？那个费尔内兰就会高，你费尔内兰会高，有没有 imply 说你的 title 比较高，所以你愿意花比较多的钱买更好的 cabin？ 好，所以你可以尝试， you can try to observe the relationship between features。那或者是另外一种是，你可以看看那个 y 啊，因为我们现在是看它有没有存活嘛。啊，比如说船坐船舱比较高等的人，有没有可能因为先逃生的关系，他活下来的几率就比较大呢？你不知道嘛，所以你可以先观察。Or you can observe the relationship,、uh, the co co correlation between the target and、uh, and some specific feature. So as we can see that we so that which one is the highest one? Ah, I remember. Oh, that correlation, because it's got plus sign, but it's just plus sign and plus sign. That, no matter plus sign and plus sign, it's always plus sign. So plus sign actually has no relation. So there are several uh, different. Uh, for example, the class P class, the class. Uh, the cabin class you have is highly related to if you have cabins. This is a little bit of a joke, and it is quite obviously okay. Usually, you would like to、uh, find out what is the 
highest uh, correlation between your target and I think that is this one, right? These five or four features are, high, uh, are related to survived. The more title you have, and the, I think the more the higher chance you may survive. Ah, 就是你你 title 越高就这样子，你可能就有办法逃生越多吧。啊，其实中规中矩就是你越越有钱，你就越有机会逃生了。但是根据过去对这个灾难的研究，是因为当时的文文化是。小孩跟女那个女性要先逃，所以你可以看到第二栏就是 sex 的那一栏，也蛮高的，因为当时是这样想的，好吗？呃、uh, ，sometimes sex is 呃、uh, female female has higher priority to get out the the Titanic. Okay. So basically, the the answer is like that. So uh, how to based on this Titanic table? Of course, we can use Regression regression or SVN or Lozy、uh, regression to analyze such kind of data, but here I'd like to introduce tree. How a tree,、uh, what a tree looks like. It may looks like big things. Basically, that is the root of the tree. So, if you have a data point, okay, you would like to know this passenger, this data point. Is survive or not survive in your data model? Then you just traverse this tree from the root. Ah, you have a data point, right? You have a passenger coming, right? Then you start from this tree, from the root, and start to traverse this tree. Then how do you traverse this tree? Um, there is there is a way to do it. Okay, there is a way to do it. There is a way to do it. There is a way to do it. Which is right here. That is the question, and the first question you have to ask is: Is this data point? Is this ten, uh, this passenger, his or her title is less than one point five, which means it has less than two titles, less than one point five titles. Okay, that's right. The answer is yes or no. So one 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 way is yes, the other way is. No, um. So I make a note right here. The left hand child is it? Yes. So the answer is yes. This is no. So if this passenger has more than has、uh, has less than one point five titles, then you goes to left subtree. 就是你到左边这颗指数上 Okay, that is the first wrong answer question. The second round, does this passenger has cabin? If the answer is less than zero point five, then yes. Otherwise, no, and so on, so forth, so on, so forth. So the problem of decision tree is how did you create a appropriate tree, and for each node. You ask the proper question with some sort of parameters. For example, zero point five, one point five. Those are parameters of the, these questions. How do you create such kind of tree? And at the end, for example, okay, here is another question with the age less than one point five. If your answer is yes, this testing passenger, his or her. Age is less than one point five, and it goes to the left hand side, which is the last node. And here is the classification result right here. That not survive. And of course, there are certain there are certain other traverse path. 就是他们有其他的这个 traverse 的路径 For example, then if your data point fit. These answers, okay. The answer, the first answer should be no. The second answer should be yes, and the third question, the answer should be uh is no. Then you go to this final note, and we can see that classification result of your data point is survived. So the next 
question is how do we build such kind of tree by using our training data? 所以我们就是要造出 所以问题是我们怎么样建出这一棵树? Okay, how do we create such kind of tree? Okay. So basically, uh, let's go back to something right here. So uh, for our topic number seven, tree-based classification, we have uh, another slide which is called entropy genie uh, uh, information game variance or something like that. Okay, so you can download this uh, slide. The reason why we introduce this tree is that that kind of tree is very easy to understand because there is a question in each node. And you simply just answer the question and you can traverse the tree. So most of the managers and boss, when they make the decision, they like such kind of uh, philosophy because the question is right here. Maybe that question is quite fit to their uh, business intelligence in their mind. 就是说很多老板很喜欢 我必须要说 here's an example. Okay? Uh, it's still it's used the uh, Titanic dancing. Okay? The first question is is sex male? Well, yes or no? And at the left hand side, the edge larger than 9.5. The answer is yes or no. That uh, it has sibling. Trouble with siblings larger than 2.5. The answer is yes or no. So when you build a decision tree, okay, you take a top, top down approach, just a yu shang er xia the approach. At each level, we would like to ask one best question. And this question can help us to separate because we have two answers yes and no yes or no right so basically we partition the original training data into two different sets and if possible the best answer can well separate the original data set regarding the answer is yes and no and at the same time survive or not survive 中间两边哦就在每一层我们会问一个问题那至于我们要问哪一个问题呢我们要找出一个最棒的问题那个最棒的问题能够把原本的资料集拆开成两个部分嘛因为右边就等下去走右边嘛左边就走左边嘛所以
用那个 feature 在问问题的时候，就把 Y 也分得超级开，对吗？你想啊，如果假设有一个 feature， 它完全的跟 Y 是线性的 ，Y 大那个 feature 就大 ，Y 小那个 feature 就小。那很简单啊，你对那个 feature 问一个问题，切一半 ，Y 大的去 Y 大那边 ，Y 小去 Y 小那边，这个 feature 大去 feature 大那边 ，feature 小去那边，就用这个 feature 把这个 Y 也切开了吗？意思是一样。好，我英文再讲一遍哈。So, um, the reason why we I show you the correlation matrix is that we can use the correlation matrix to visualize the relationship between your target, which is Y, and all the other features. Right? If there is a very is a specific feature, it has a high correlation to your target, then you can use this feature. To partition your data by using your feature, and at the meantime, because your feature is highly correlated to your target, so when you use your X, your highly correlated feature, to partition your data, it is it has a very high chance, and your data can be partitioned、uh, regarding to your Y. So, the next question of tree-based algorithm is: How did you find which feature is the best feature you should use to partition your data? So there are several different、uh, algorithms, different methods. The first one is called information gain. So here is a, a table. Okay, we have ten、uh, data.、Uh, we have three different、uh, features: x one, x two, x three, which is.、Uh, Seniority, education, experience, and the wise performers.、Uh, we have only two、uh, good or okay. Okay, we have such kind of data. And which feature is the best feature? We should select first. We should ask a question about this feature so that we can partition this data. So the first thing is information gain. The theory behind information gain is entropy. Entropy 中文就是叫熵哈，或者实际上它应该念敌哈，都可以哈，随便哈。那它指的就是乱度的意思。We first take a look at Y, which is our target. So we have ten data. We have a lot, of, a lot of good and a lot of okay, right? So we like to calculate the entropy of Y. Here is it minus right here. Okay. So it is a summation. Okay. So for each data point, you Calculate two things. One is the probability of this value, and times its log value. So right here at the right hand side, the、uh, the y, okay, the y has two value. Is it either good or okay, right? So y, it is a random variable. It has two values, good or okay. So P good.、Uh, we have ten data points. How many of them are good? Five. Okay, five. And the P okay is the same. Okay, five over ten. Zero point five. So how do we calculate? The entropy 就是你就想它是乱度，我们在计算一个乱度，就是 y 这个 color 里面的这两个值啊 ，good 跟 OK 啊，它们到底出现的有多乱 ？So here is how we calculate this value. Okay, we simply just、uh, count how many good and how many OK in our original data. We calculate the probability and use the probability to the answer is 1.0, and that is the entropy of Why? 就是我们现在用一个数值来判断 good 跟 OK 在出现的这个乱度到底有多乱。反正现在评价出来就是乱度是。So the next step is we calculate the entropy of x one. 就是我们现在呢就改改去看嘛，因为我们现在要评价 x one, x two, x three 嘛，我们就去算算看那 x one 有多乱呢？好，那 x one 目前是。呃，它的年资是这样子安排的嘛，对不对？那一样嘛，我们可以写 probability 嘛。So there are three different values, which is less than five years, 
larger than 10 years, between 5 to 10 years. So we have three different events for this random variable x1. So we have three different probability right here times its, um, its uh, entropy, you know, how you calculate your entropy. So, so on and so forth, so on and so forth. The answer is right here, I believe. When you put x1, the data, to calculate the entropy of x1, okay, which is the information gap of x1, the answer is 0. 就是它的亂度呢不是像剛剛 y 它的亂度下降的意思是說它比較好預測也就是說它一定有某一個 variable的值因為我們現在不是三個值嗎小於五大於十跟介於五跟十之間嗎一定有某三個裡面一定有某一個它出現的幾率比較大所以它的亂度就下降可以嗎它的意思是這個樣子 okay? so when we calculate the information gain of x1 which means we are trying to evaluate the entropy of x1. For example, x1 has three different values, less than 5, larger than 10, between 5 and 10. If all of three different events for this random variable x1, the probability of these three events are equal, then we think the entropy is very high. But however, the probability between these three different events in x1 they are not equal. Uh, they are not equal. So basically, we believe the data, the entropy, is a little bit lower because one of the event has higher chance, has higher probability that occurs when we observe the data x1. Okay? So after that, we calculate the entropy of x1, x2, and f3 by using the formula above. So that we like to calculate information gain. So the gain, which means you use 1.0 to the f3 right here. So x2, which is education, it has the largest information gain. So that it means we can get more information when we split the original data by using x2, which is education, at the first place. So let, for data, the first question I would like to ask to partition the entire data set to, uh, to two different branches. The first question should be x2. So that is the way you evaluate different features and which one should be the first question you ask. Information gain is one of the way. So you can see, the original is 1.0 is y, right? But the original is 0.69. So the original is 0.69. If you want to use a very simple word, the original is 0.69. 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 那原本的資料 Y啊是超亂的嘛 可是X2看起來比較整齊 那你就用X2去問一個問題啊 所以你還有可能X2那個問題問下去之後 那個Y啊就會被分的比 因為本來Y是很亂的嘛 那你現在被X2分比較整齊 那很有可能分完之後啊 不是分兩坨嗎 資料是分兩邊嘛 X問一個問題分兩邊嘛 問兩邊之後那個資料就會變成說 好像看起來某一邊的資料會比較整齊兩邊資料都會變得比較整齊這樣子 So that is, a re, that is one of the way to evaluate which question you should ask first which is information gain The theory behind information gain is entropy 就是亂度 The other one is very similar but use an other uh, matrix which is Gini 中文翻譯成基尼系數 
。那基尼系数它 it's infers to impurity， 就是不纯度。那你看嘛，上面那个是乱度的评估嘛，啊，东西越乱或是越不乱。那这个叫做基尼系数，就评估的是一个资料集里面的那些点。他们到底有多纯，或是多不纯啊？所谓多纯多不纯，意思就是说相似的程度是高还是低呀、啊？啊，其实意思是一样的嘛。So there's another uh equation a、uh, formula right here to calculate the Gini value. Okay, it's very similar to information gap. Just use another uh matrix. To infer, okay, to calculate the impurity of two data set. So it's the same. First, you use y to calculate the Gini value, and you calculate the Gini value of you using x y s to m f three, and then you calculate delta value. So the large difference between the impurity. Of data one, data two, data three, against the impurity of y. Ah, 就是就是两个相减嘛，哈，它英文意思是这样，就是你有两个相减嘛。那差越多，就表示你用 y 去做分类的不纯度，跟你用 x two 啊，就是教育水准去分不纯度。That is that is the second one. Just and just several different index to help you to describe the data. Okay. Chi square. Okay, that is from statistics. That also they are trying to evaluate the relationship. Ah,、uh, 就是中文是相依程度。台湾简定也是相依程度意思。So you can use uh any your fe any feature for example x one. Okay, and your y to calculate the chi square. Okay. 那这个我就不太多讲，因为这是统计上面的公式哦，我去算就好了。So that is we can evaluate that the chi square, okay? The higher chi square it is, then we use this value as the first question to partition the original data, okay? Variance, for example, I have ten data points right here. And the average is forty-seven. The variance of this data is one hundred twenty-one. Okay, for example, that is、uh, your height, or your your weight, or your some numerical data. Okay, so I would like to ask ask one question to partition the original ten data point into two different data sets. Okay, for example, the question is if x one is less than ten or larger than ten. Okay, so I partition the data into two data set. One has eight data points, the other has two data points, and then I calculate the mean value and the variance again within the the class. Okay, within the class, and before I do such kind of partition, the variance is quite high, which is one hundred twenty one, and after I do such kind of partition, okay, I have two variants. But I can still calculate the <coughs> weighted variance, which is total variance. Okay, so that is the weight eight over ten times the current variance plus the weight. Okay, I have two data points in my data set, and my variance is fifty six point twenty five. So the weighted variance is sixteen thirty four. Original Variance is one hundred twenty-one, which means all the data point in this node is quite different. But after I partition, after I ask a question and I partition the data into two groups, and the variance decreased, and that means the data point in each group, which is more similar in each within the group. 啊，中文再讲一遍哦。原本我有十个点嘛，对不对？所以我的啊，然后我里面就随便算一个平均值或标准差之类的。结果发现我 variance 超高，表示我两点的变异性很大，啊，差异性很大。那我随便问了一个问题，把它们分成两群之后，重新再算一次平均值跟变异数在群内之间。然后呢，我算一个
weighted 的,的 variance 嘛，好、哦，所以前面有八个点嘛，就十分之八乘以六点三六嘛，后面两个点嘛，所以是十分之六乘以五十六。那我发现它平均的 variance 整体平均的 variance， 因为 partition 的关系而下降，那表示我分两群是蛮有意义的，因为群内的人变得更像了，所以 variance 才变小嘛，啊，标准差变小嘛，表示我这样分群是很有意义的，所以就第四个。方法就是 variance 来说的话，我可不可以在我所有的 feature 里面找到某一个 feature， 那那个 feature 里面问一个问题，使得我分两群之后，它的变异数可以小到差最多，像这样就是121十一变成十六点四三四，那这一样嘛，这是一个搜寻问题嘛，就是想办法，最烂的方法就是穷举啊，你穷举所有的 x， 然后问一下，哎，小于十，小于十一，小于十二，就随便问所有的问题。总会有一个让 variance 可以变得最小嘛，降得最低嘛。好，那那个那个就是我们最好的问题了。呃、uh, ，if we can find a feature with a parameter that can partition our original data into two set and the variance decrease to a very low level, then we set such kind of partition separate to different kinds of data, so that the variance decrease to a quite low level. Okay, that is this one. So, uh, for for all the all those different uh concept, no matter is information gain, Shini or um Shi Square or um Marius, all of them are trying to find out a way to partition the original data, and the partition the data within the class every. Bell point is similar within the class, no matter the concept is from variance, G script, Gini, or information gap. 好，就是这四个方法，不管哪一个啦，他们的中心思想都是，反正我分开之后，我下一下一个 level 的时候，群内的人哈就要很像，啊，两群之间就不像，就是这样的概念，啊，就这样的概念。Uh, and um, currently, we don't have to write our own program to do these things because all those analyze algorithm, all those analyze tools, you simply just click. Okay, I want to use G Square. I want to use GAN uh, information GAN, and then they will find out which feature should be used first, and what is the parameter used by this feature, and they will help you to construct the entire tree. Okay, we will show you how to uh, create those trees. You don't have to write program. You can just simply use Orange to create all those trees.